Hey everybody, this is Jason with Compass Real Estate. I sell homes here in Los Angeles and I'm here to answer the question, is it worth it? No, not is it worth it for my wife to get a Himalayan sea salt candle, which um, Himalayan sea salt, last time I checked, Himalayas are a landlocked mountain range that is between China and Nepal. Hmm. A little confused about that. So where's the sea salt coming from if it's from the Himalayas? Anyways, no. Uh, I'm not answering the question, is it worth it for my wife to get a Himalayan sea salt candle? I'm answering the question, is it worth it to buy a duplex here in Los Angeles? So check it out. I'm Jason. I sell homes here in Los Angeles. And if you like me filming these videos with sunglasses on, give me a like for the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you like me filming these videos without sunglasses on, go ahead and give me a like for the YouTube algorithm. All right, thank you guys for that. So all fun and jokes aside, let's get into this. I have a client and she wants to buy a duplex for $1.5 million and she's looking in West LA, Mar Vista and El Segundo areas. So first of all, I'm thinking this is pretty good. Yeah, this is pretty doable. We could get a duplex in this area more or less for $1.5 million. We could get probably like a two bedroom in the front and then a one bedroom in the back. So I think that pretty much this this will work. It's going to be like not completely modern. Everything's not going to be brand new and done up, but we could get something. So first of all, I find a duplex near Venice in Mar Vista for her with a two bedroom in the front. Like I said, one bedroom in the back. Everything is fixed up and nice and neat painted well, just like this room that I'm in right here. Me and my wife painted ourselves, by the way. So everything looks nice, the trim looks nice, but there's one problem is that it's very close to Venice High School. And she grew up out here just like I did. And I know that in the mornings off that street Walgrove by Venice High School, there's a lot of traffic and a lot of noise. So that one is off the list. Okay, but that doesn't end the question, you guys. Is it worth it to buy a duplex? She just simply didn't like that specific location. Now we have a duplex in El Segundo. She loves El Segundo currently renting there. So we know that we like this area, $1.5 million, great. All right, so now is it worth it? Let's take a look at the client's criteria. And you guys, this is what it'll be like when I'm helping you guys. We're gonna make sure that everything makes sense and that the payments are doable for you within your comfort level. Of course, you wanna check with an accountant and your mortgage broker too, but we can more or less eyeball it and see if we could get what you need for the monthly price and the down payment that is good for you, okay? So check it out, $1.5 million, and she and her friend actually put their money together after a few years of diligence saving, and they have a down payment of about $150,000. So that's a really good down payment, and that's 10% down for $1.5 million. She wants to pay a monthly payment, her side, of $5,000 per month. Let's take a look at it. Is this goal doable with $150,000 down, splitting the monthly cost with a friend, and she'll pay $5,000 per month. Let's check it out. Mortgage calculator with Nerd Wallet. home price $1.5 million. She puts 10% down at $150,000, and the mortgage comes out to about $7,647. Now, the agreement was roughly like this. If she occupies the two-bedroom unit in the front, and he has a one-bedroom in the back, more or less, he would pay $2,600. Okay, so $7,600, a little more than that, but let's run it off to that, minus his payment of $2,600. All right, and then where is she left paying on her portion of the monthly payment? You guys got it. You know, there's still $47 left over, but we're pretty close to her goal. I'll mention it, run it by her, see if that's okay. But yes, we are at her $5,000 per month goal. So guys, is it worth it? In this situation, as long as she likes it and we do have the down payment and her friend is still in agreement and he's willing to pay 2,600 portion for that one bedroom, which we'll need to discuss in more detail, yes, then it is worth it and she'll get her $5,000 per month. But wait, there's more, there's a little bonus. She's not renting anymore. So now even though her payment is $5,000 per month, she gets a little bonus, you guys. And for those of you out there that are making 100, 120, 140 grand per year, listen up. And you guys are making good money out here, but you're renting, go ahead and make sure that you buy something because you'll actually get a discount. The sticker price, if you go to a mortgage broker and the sticker price, I don't know, 
$2,300 per month, $3,000 per month, you go, oh, I'm paying 500 less per month uh, renting. Number one, they're gonna raise the rent on you, especially if you're out here in a major metro metropolitan area like Los Angeles, or if you're in New York, San Jose, San Francisco. So they're gonna raise the rent on you and it'll eventually cost what a mortgage is. Second of all, you get that tax write-off and that tax write-off is a little bonus. So just like me, I used to be filming one YouTube video per week, but check it out guys, I'm gonna be filming two YouTube videos per week. I'm leveling up. She's gonna level up by getting a tax write-off. That's right, guys. So usually owning something, if you can afford it and you like it, you're gonna work or do business close by, it is worth it. And that answers our question once and for all in this scenario, is it worth it to buy a duplex? Yes. Hope you guys love this video. It's a little more informal and it's a fun way for me to get out more videos. I'm gonna be releasing something like this every Monday or Tuesday-ish at the be beginning of the week. So don't forget to subscribe to stay in touch and get the latest updates as the real estate market changes here in Los Angeles. A lot is going on, very interesting. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time if I go live and every time I update, upload, and every time I upload a new video, you guys will get first news of it. And also when you're looking to buy a home in Los Angeles, I'll be so happy to help you guys. I'll get you guys the lowest price and we'll really bargain hard for you. Give me a call right here. Even if you don't know the first steps of buying a home, I'll walk you through it just like I have been. Check out my previous videos, walk my friends through this. It looks very difficult, but I'll make it simple and we'll get you guys the best deal, okay? Also, <laughs> if you're an agent and you're in El Segundo, Mar Vista, or any place in West LA, please, if you have a duplex, a nice one with a total of three bedrooms, please let me know that's 1.5 or below. Once again, please call me here or you can email me here. Thank you guys. I really appreciate that because I've, I've been helping this client and we're getting there, but we're not quite there yet. All right, guys. Thanks again. And we'll see you next time. Sunglasses on. Yeah.